In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the expand function in Excel to make it to where column information like a company name will automatically populate as you paste in new rows of data. So the expand function just basically gets an array and expands it to whatever size I want it to be in and it fills in the empty space with whatever you want it to have. So sure what, what I mean by that, we can do equals expand open parentheses. Now the first is the array. So what array do you want to expand? So I just say I wanted to expand this array right here. And then comma, so rows, so what size you want this array to be? One thing to note is that this needs to be at least as many rows as we have in our array. So as you can see, we have five rows selected. So this can be 10, for example. The next argument is optional, as you can tell by how to brackets, but that is columns. So what, how many columns do you want our array to be expanded to? Let's just say two columns, for example. And the pattern is I'm going to leave blank for the second thing to show you what it does if we leave it blank. And if we leave the pattern with blank, it will return an NA error. But the beautiful thing is that you can fill this in with whatever you want to. For example, you can say the, the pattern length, you can say, okay. For example, and now it's the word okay. So to show you how to kind of apply this to the thought here, First, you want to have kind of starter value that you're going to expand from in the column that you want to have automatically populate with the same data every single time. Now, using the expand function, we can do equals expands, open parentheses, and the first argument is the array. So what array do you want to expand? We want to expand just this one cell to be whatever information we want it to be in. Rows, how big do we want our array to be in? So what we want it to be, however many data points, however many rows we have to the right in this example. So we can do equals count day, which will just go through and count how many cells have pieces of information and do count a, all, not all the way down, but much more rows than what we think we might actually need. Just call it 10,000, for example. In that way, whenever we add a new row of data, it will automatically be considered in the count day. Columns, how many columns do you want to have? We don't have we don't have to use this argument, but we want to just have it be this one column. And then the pad width. So what do we want to fill in this under, this array with? So we want to have it filled in with a company name, company ABC, which is just a made up company name for example purposes, but you see what I mean. And now the expand function will automatically fill in the data as we paste it down. And as you can see, the expand function filled in the, these columns with the name company ABC for however many pieces of data that we have, which in this example is, which in this example right now is 54 rows. So I'm going to freeze panes real quick to kind of show you that it's working and we can copy paste this data down. And as you can see, company ABC is automatically populating in the new rows. And this is extremely helpful because if you're doing data entry tasks, it's one less thing that you have to copy paste down, which enough times over can save you a bunch of time. And it can make what you're working on a bit more robust so that we, for example, if you you will have to worry about remembering to copy paste something down, it will automatically be populated and can make mistakes and errors less, less likely to occur. Hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. You have a fantastic day.